It's Monday morning. Uh, I am re-sighting in my bow. Uh, I think my string settled in just a little bit, so I've been kind of low, so I'm just kind of redoing everything. Plus, I re-fletched all my arrows. We have Montana Knife Company arrow wraps now and veins, so I did a bunch of re-fletching last night at my kitchen table. This week's gonna be busy, and I'm going down to Austin, Texas to do some podcasts, go see the Drinking Bros, uh, Tim Kennedy, maybe say hi to Rogan. So we got the Jackstone coming out next week, which is our knife that we came up with with Aaron Snyder. It's a Canadian belt knife style. It's a knife that Aaron felt really strongly about that he really likes. Uh, we named it the Jackstone after a really cool mountain range up in Canada. Aaron uh, owns Kafaru. Uh, just an amazing guy, test gear, really particular about the stuff that he takes in his pack hunting, so we're excited about uh, this knife design with him. Not that looks good. I like it. Really good. Yeah, look at yeah this. it looks really good. I like I like that. That's cool. Yeah. Feel how just feel how good that is. Oh dude, those are nice. Yeah. Really. Yeah, feel it. Yeah, no. I am nice. feeling it. Touch, Touch it. it. Touch, Touch it. it. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> Oh, this one's on the... Yeah, yeah. That's cool. When are you doing these? Tuesday. Seven days. So we have a quick turnaround, Henry. <laughs> like, after the bat of Okuyu, you're worried about a little red? That's Got a new batch of hatchets in. First step is to get the thickness of all the hatchets, and then we'll take this height gauge and we'll mark where the middle of the blade is going to be so that I can grind the bevels out and put a line right down the middle. So now there's a line right down the middle, and I know how much to take off of each side for the bevel. We also take the inside. And do the same thing so that we know where to grind down on both sides when we're making this grind. I don't want to get your guys' hopes up, but uh, we're just getting started on the hatchets. The drop's a little ways out. Keep your eyes peeled on our emails and uh, follow our socials to stay in the know of when they're dropping. So occasionally here in the Montana Knife Company customer service department, we get some crazy emails, some crazy questions, some crazy scenarios and situations. We had maybe what I would consider our craziest one just yet about a week ago. We sell several different kinds of knife display blocks made by Montana Block. They make a knife stand and they make a knife hang. And those are on our website. They're beautiful. If you have not seen them before, check them out. <laughs> we had a customer who thought that we had shipped his knives in this knife hang. <laughs> and the email I got was from him asking me for help on how to get into this piece of wood to get to his knives. He tried very hard to get into this piece of wood on his own. As you can tell, he took a, a hammer and a chisel and even broke one of his own knives <laughs> trying to get into this knife hang. I explained to him that we do not sell our knives in these blocks. <laughs> Uh, that this was in fact a knife hang. We issued him a return slip and he returned this to us and we issued him a refund considering the confusion behind the situation. So everybody, this is a knife hang. It has a magnet inside, displays your knives. If you would like to display your knives, you should purchase one of these off of our website. It does not come with knives. 
Hey guys, my name is Josh Smith. I am the president of Montana Knife Company, and I'm very excited to introduce to you today a new knife that we did in collaboration with Aaron Snyder of Kafaru, and we call it the Jack Stone. The Jackstone knife is actually a Canadian belt skinner design that you see very few companies make these days. This year, Aaron Snyder was using this prototype knife up in Canada, sheep hunting and goat hunting. It's a leaf shaped blade, so that means it's wider out here at the belly of the knife where you do 90% of your work with this blade. This tip design drops down in here and makes it super, super strong. This is probably the strongest tip style knife that we make besides our stone wall. This knife also has the swelled portion here in the center, which really locks your hand in and makes it super, super comfortable uh, to hold on to, as well as some jimping along the spine here for your thumb. So you've got some traction if you're really doing some heavy work, some carving, some push cutting. So the Jackstone here is made out of Magna Cut stainless steel. Magna Cut is an incredibly stain resistant steel. It's a really hard working steel and it's also easy to resharpen. This blade also comes with a G10 handle. The G10 handle scales are basically bulletproof. It doesn't matter if it's freezing, if it's hot, if it's wet, bloody. We actually leave some of the milling marks from our machines on these handles so you have a little bit of traction if it's cold, wet, and slick conditions. Lastly, the Jackstone comes with a Kydex sheath. This knife locks into place really nicely because of that guard on this blade. So you are not going to lose this blade. This knife is light. It's got a skeletonized tang and it's only three and a half ounces. If you know Aaron Snyder, you know uh, that he is no bullshit when it comes to gear. And, and if Aaron's gonna put his name on something, you know he believes in it. So the Jackstone, I mean, that alone is a cool ass name. And I really like the fact that we got that name from Aaron actually in a mountain range where he hunts. So don't steal Aaron's hunting spot, get one of these knives and hopefully you can put it to use. You're doing the giveaway with me. No. Yeah. <laughs> right, I, can say I choose this. you. <laughs> what color are you doing? What color? Orange and black. Orange and black. Most popular color. Yeah. So, Al, uh, what's the plan? For what? The giveaway. What's the giveaway, Al? Uh, so this week we're giving away <laughs> the Jack. Uh, this week we're giving away the Jack Stone in orange and black. It's a brand new knife that we came out with. Uh, it's pretty sleek. It's in Magna Cut. How you win this is you. <laughs> There's too many eyes. There's a big eye oh, right there. You should have seen Mackenzie last Friday. I loved it. That was my favorite part of it. <laughs> to win this, you gotta like the video, comment on it, subscribe to the YouTube, and also our emailing list for your best chance to win. Nice job. That's a hit, dude. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make a sharpie. <laughs> I can't handle this. <laughs>